And maybe we just start off with introductions real quickly. I'm Chief Shane Sherman with the Rexford Police Department. Directly to my right is my Assistant Chief of Police, Gary Hagan. And then to his right is Sheriff Lynn Humphreys of Fremont County. Today, Officer Hagan will be giving the release, and so I'll turn the time over to him. Okay. We'd first like to thank everybody for coming out today. We thank everybody that's been following this case from day one. This has been a very trying thing for everybody involved, and we just want to emphasize how thankful we are for everybody. Again, my name is Assistant Chief Gary Hagan. The spelling of my last name is Hagan, H-A-G-E-N. I wanted to give a brief press release today about some events that have occurred today in regards to our missing children's case of Tylee Ryan and Joshua Vallow. This morning, we served a, the Rexford Police Department and the Fremont County Sheriff's Office and the FBI served a search warrant in the 200 block of 1900 East here in Fremont County, also known as Chad Daybell's residence. Throughout the investigation, detectives and investigators have recovered what's believed to be human remains that have not been identified at this time. We are not going to answer any questions at this time in regards to any of the further investigation until we have more details, but we are wanting to get this out to let everybody know before there's speculation or rumor that starts flying. So again, we're not going to take any questions at this time. We'll save that for a later press conference when we have more details. But again, we just want to reemphasize how much appreciation we have for you guys for coming out here and for covering this and for the families and friends of everybody involved. So we appreciate it. Thank you. Can you just repeat what you said about human remains? Okay. I'm sorry again. Can you just repeat what you said about human remains? Okay. So during the investigation, the investigators and detectives have recovered what's believed to be human remains that are not identified at this time. There is, I do want to add that Chad Daybell, who resides at that residence, has also been taken into custody for questioning in regards to that. And again, we'll give further press release at a later time and take questions regarding more when we have that. So, okay. Thank you. We're not for sure yet. So as soon as we find out, I'll let everybody know. Okay. That's all we can answer at this time. So. Okay. Thank you. It will continue in through till tomorrow. We're not for sure. So as soon as we find out more, we'll, like I said, we'll let everybody know. Thank you. Appreciate it.